Okay, we ran all the scripts and we're gonna shut down first and then restart into Arch Linux XFCE Arco Linux Spices. That's the name, that's how we do it. So you see already we have uh, a strange look. <laughs> no, it's a look we definitely know. And it's um, Neofetch. It is Arch Rolling. So as you see here, it's definitely not Arco Linux. But when you see the wallpaper, then again you say, hey, uh, what is this? And it even says Arco Linux because of our scripts and uh, the content of the scripts. We have to change a little bit. So Arch Linux XFCE, my friend. And the icon theme is Arco Linux. So this is going to load up lots and lots of icons. People say it's broken. It's not broken. You have to wait, wait, wait and be patient. And then finally you get a lot of information. <coughs> We definitely gonna need to look for Arch something. This is a Arch Linux. Yeah, not really the one I want actually. So um, let's see inside. Let's take all icons, that's better. And then Arch Linux, that's the one I want. So distribute the logo Arch Linux. Okay. So we get another thing. Well, it's not so nice since the circle is a little bit, well, pixelated. So I'm gonna look for one more, more time for something else. Again, it will need some time. I need actually location icons. I think it, that's, that's the name. Let's see if it's in here. No. Yes, 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 no, no. Yes and no. Ah, there they are. So it's in location and I rather like this one. So that's neat, right? So that's it. Uh, basically, the first uh, we have this here. Okay, another one. <laughs> so we need to browse to. Well, we can browse as well on this. So computer, user share icons <coughs> icons we need to go sardi we need to go to scale we need to go to places scroll down and look for start here symbolic let's see arc linux arch merge and start here arch i think it must be that one not sure yep that's the one apply so now we have also this up here so everybody can see we are arch linux users and it's time to make screenshots and all that so um, if you want to have a uh, control alt you see that we do not have neofetch launched so let's take a look and also point out that we have the bash rc but this is not the Arco Linux Bash RC, as you can see, it's uh, still empty. So if you add new fetch to it and save it and control T again, then you see immediately um, your new fetch. So all the settings from this one, where is this coming from? That's actually coming from uh, the standard repo. No, not from the standard, standard repo. There is a configuration in here. So you all, you copied everything over from um, well, Arco Linux, so it's all these Arco Linux uh, logos that we do not need anymore. That's where on Arch. But that's how it goes. Um, that's how you spice the thing, things up. Now, the bash, maybe you miss, miss a lot of things in the bash and say, hey, how about that, Eric? Uh, so you go to the ETC scale and you check out if we have a bash in here. So that's this one. That's the same one. And there's the bash RC latest. Oh yeah. So control A, control C. And then this one is the one from my home directory. Delete, control find, save, control find, not control V. And copy paste, save it. 
and it's uh, done now you can log off or there's another way to do it and that's to source again and then you have to navigate to whatever file you want to source again it can be bash it can be zsh and now i hope i understand this one for instance and there we go we have a package query for yahoo to update so okay that's already taken care of so variety is kicking in maybe you did not see it uh, so yes it's it's working so alt to the arrow to the right alt arrow to the right alt t to trash it and so all the shortcuts are working as well we've imported those as well from arco linux we've lot we imported quite a lot from uh from there and it will feel as if we have a um, as if we have arco linux here so we can change things like that in the conkey we have here the config and the conkey and there is the logos arco logos conkey so i've just activated that one and we can check out well, let's do a little exercise images there's arch linux for you so rather than saying take the arco linux which is this line line 137 is actually the line that's active and let's say take arch linux png not sure how big it is but let's take a look it's already there it's very it's smaller than we think oh it's a very small one that's too bad maybe we should add a better one save and that's a better one now since it's so small we also need to change a little bit probably in height if we say 90 90 90 will be better 85 maybe as well so it's going to be in the middle as you see here it's going to look just like so which is enough but it's it's small it's just an exercise you take a bigger image and it will be awesome so a conkey's work um what else could we try uh, we can try out our settings so appearance and then change to i don't know arc hibiscus dark so you see already it's it's set it's changed so everything like that works if you want to go to the Sardi Monocolora Mandy, then you will have also Control H those uh, in there. So all of that works. What else could you ask me? Conky Zen is there. Preferred applications, everything works. I rather have Vivaldi. Thank you very much. Close and the icons the icons are not okay so sublime text is has an icon that i don't like um, i got rid of that in the arco xfce but I have my own github which is git clone https github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Arco Linux Nemesis. I think that's that's it. So we have now I don't know what is it again. Right, so so these are other scripts i will run after a clean installation whatever i'm on so these scripts are there the zero zero we did it install core so probably more software that i will install after installation of uh, arco linux so but they're all there already so that's okay that's cool but 300 is going to add stuff because there are stuff like discord which i do not want it's going to take forever so I'm gonna get rid of that Discord thing. Discord is 
going to be installed automatically in from the ISO. So that will be, was it this one or that one? So Discord, you're out for the moment to make a quicker installation. It takes about seven minutes to compile that thing. So that's all good. Everything installed, 300. And 710 is the font, so we did that as well. And microcode error, I don't need it. Then there is a personal stuff that I could install as well. So this is just me. Um, it's up to you to, to see if you like this um, personal scripts, change them to your liking and save you a lot of time. Because that's always, as you can see, a lot of bookmarks I tend to use. It's very personal, of course. Some GIMP stuff, some scripts in there that I use. I want to be able to use GNOME screenshots. Did I launch Firefox already? I did now. And then we can run script 700. 800. And now we are where I was just telling you that the this icon here from Sublime Text, if we open it here, Sublime Text, this looks ugly in the sense that it's it's a, a different kind of color than the rest and this is going to fix it for simple screen recorder and this is going to fix it for sublime text so if i start sublime text again you'll see that it has this icon now and not the other one which is the colored one but it's just ah, it's not important it's not necessary it's just aesthetics that's it nothing more so there you go, um, this is my system as of now, left for that, great, old T trash, old T trash, old T trash, old T trash, how about some balloons, that's neutral right? So we have um, the possibility to change any way we see fit, the system here, we only have XFCE installed and um, there's nothing more I could show rather than say, okay, it's uh, all everything that we explained on Arco Linux is going to apply. Everything we learned, you learned about Arch Linux is going to apply. It's going to apply on Manjaro as well. It's going to apply on, on Tergos as well. They are all Arch based. So whatever you learn, you can now wander about to the other distros because you learned a lot when you followed all the tutorials about Arco Linux and you're ready for Arch now. All right, enjoy.